The state of Delaware is experimenting with a new type of child support in a form of a card, which works much like an EBT card. Okay. The child support card will prohibit parents from paying for certain items like gas, rent, and adult clothing. Oh, I think this is a great idea. This video is brought to you by the Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the des description. The subscription. Maybe I should do a subscription service. The description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's funny that this video popped up on my radar because I had just had a conversation about this very thing. And as a father who has a son out of wedlock and with a woman that I'm not married to and have been going through this particular situation for the last decade or so, I, 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 I honestly think this is a great idea. Now, I'm going to play the clip. And I was shocked that these women actually had this perspective because it's rare to see women, in my opinion, have a fair understanding about child support. It is such a misconstrued concept in America that is mind-blowing to me. In the very nature of the word, it is supposed to be child support. It's not supposed to take care of the child. It's supposed to be support. That means that one parent is that that's taking the child primarily has the financial resources to take care of the child. The other parent who's not physically there should support the child, should support the lifestyle. Nowadays in our society, they literally, if you marry a dude with a lot of money, you can pay astronomical amounts of money. 50,000, 20,000, 30,000 a month, 10,000, $5,000 a month for one child. That's not child support anymore. That's that's called a tax. I don't know what that's called, but I'm gonna let you listen to this new uh, child support card that I am 100% in favor of, and then we'll have a conversation after this. Roll the clip. The state of Delaware is experimenting with a new type of child support in a form of a card, which works much like an EBT card. Okay. The child support card will prohibit parents from paying for certain items like gas rent, and adult clothing. And liquor. And liquor. <laughs> Lonnie, hmm. what do you think? What are you thinking? Is this a good idea? Well, I mean, you know what? Okay, this is a thing. When you say, uh, okay, uh, 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 this is a thing, let me tell you what she's thinking because I think she's a rational woman. She, and I saw this clip already. So I think she's going to give a reasonable perspective, but she don't want to get in trouble with other women. That's why it's hard. You can't just come right out and say it. That I know about child support. Okay. Like, you know, child support goes to the one that's the major caregiver. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's good that they do have the card. Yes. They have certain restrictions. But I also want to say that if you are the parent, you, you are a parent, if you have a child 24-7, there's nothing wrong if it's your day off to take $50 and go have a meal. I think that that's, that's true. okay. That's okay, but some people take advantage of it, Lonnie. Yeah, as long as you That's don't take advantage of it. But I'm just saying because, you know, come on, some people, they're not paying a lot of ch in child support. They, right. You know what I mean? It's like they try to act like, you know, they paying $1,500, 2000 Some are, but I'm talking about where I'm from, you know, the D. <laughs> that 300 a week is, come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Yeah. 300, 300 a week times four is $1,200 a month. So, I, you know. <laughs> But let me just add this point, and I'm going to let him finish, because she did say a lot of reasonable stuff. She was reasonable. I may not agree with her, but at least she's rational and reasonable about what she's saying. I, I do not think people should use any child support in order for them to do anything personally. You should use that for the child. I, I don't understand why people have a hard time with that. Like, if I was getting paid child support, I, I, would, I would have no problem with it being on a separate card. Because if my son wants something to eat or whatever, I just spend it on him. I got to go buy shoes and stuff like that. I just spend it on him. If he goes to, you know, a camp or something, I'll just spend the money on him. And when I run out that, that money, then I start chipping into my own money. You know, I, I don't see that it's anything wrong with that. 
And I know a lot of men who pay child support, and, and I pay child support. I've been paying child support my son's whole life, and I ain't never missed a payment. So paying child support, I, I never mind supporting my son. I, I don't. I, I I I do not mind whatsoever. I would do anything for my son, even now that he's older. Like I, I have to hold back from doing more because I don't want to spoil the boy. But I don't want to take care of somebody else. I, I want to take care of my child to support that. But I'm not finna pay your rent and, and, and you go out and live a lavish lifestyle on my hard earned money, and, and and the kid still wearing the same shoes he was wearing all year. Ain't got no clothes. You're not if you're not doing anything for him. There's no reason for you to be getting that much money. We got and, and, but now, the reason why now you got the knucklehead woman that chimes in. Not this first woman, but it's another one. I'll show you. They put it into action. It's because sadly, you guys, there are those ladies. There out are there. a lot more people that are taking advantage of child support. And that's why they put this into action. That's why they're coming up with this idea. Because you can't take your girlfriends out for drinks on your child support. <laughs> you can't. No, no that's true. You but can't also, hit the strip club I think using there, that card. It becomes a time when you, as the parent, you have rights, especially if you're paying child support, you have visitation. Why don't we start talking to each other as parents and as aunties and uncles about, hey, where is this money I going think, to? Absolutely. I think it depends on the person and the type of situation because mm -hmm. there are women out there, yes. this is the real, They're fathers who too. search for the dudes that have the money and say, you know what? Well, that's I'm a gonna... whole different level. That's child yeah. support on but a no, whole that, 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 Now, watch the lady in the red dress is gonna, everybody on the panel is normal. She gonna, she is that woman that will be using her child support to go and do stuff she wants she's not supposed to be doing. But I agree with the other women that, that there's a lot of women that take advantage of the child support stuff. They do. And there's women that go out and meet men and have sex with them and have children with them because it is a payday. I mean, just imagine you being a woman who don't have any skills. All you have is beauty. And, you you, you know, even you probably work odd jobs here and there or you dated dudes who were losers. And you go meet an NFL or NBA or baseball player. And they got to pay you $50,000 a month. You know, some people have never, I mean, I don't care how hard you work. Some people will never get that much money, no matter how hard they work. And you can get it tax free. And you don't ever have to work for at least 18 years. And they don't care what you do with it. You could put back, you could be trading, you could be putting money in the stock. You could be buying property that you own independently. With child support money. I, know, I, I I met a girl, and I'm glad that me and her didn't do nothing because she, she probably would have had me and him up like this. I met a girl that was telling me about an NBA player that she was dating, and she had got pregnant by the guy. And we're at lunch, and she's talking to me about this. I don't, I don't know if she think I'm, like, vibing with what she's saying. In my mind, I'm like, I should call the police on you. But I didn't want to get nothing involved in that. This woman was dating a basketball player to play for the uh, Phoenix Suns. He was a rookie at the time with a crazy contract. I think he had like a $90 million contract or something crazy. She was living in Arizona but trying to travel back and forth from Arizona to, to uh, California. And she go, you know the reason why I'm doing that? Because she wanted to establish child support in California. Because in Arizona, there's a $2,000 a month cap. In, in, in California, she, he would have had to pay her $30,000 a month if she would have established child support in California. And this is her whole thing. And she telling me, like, I'm impressed. I'm like, man, I pay child support. You, you, I, I'll testify against you in the court of law. If the, if the if homeboy came up with it, I'll testify against you because you told me that you want to do that so you can manipulate child support money. That ain't right, man. $30,000 a month tax-free. She can literally live in a in a house that's ten thousand dollars a month. Let's just do the math. You live in a two million dollar house, a three million dollar house. That's about ten thousand dollars a month. Uh, maybe two million dollar house. Three thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars a month. You can live in a two million dollar house, and then the other ten thousand, twenty thousand. You can you can you can be buying property. You can be saving it. You could be driving. You could be driving a, a, a Rolls Royce, Mercedes. You can have like six cars with that money. It's tax free. I, like, it's crazy to me. Let me finish the clip. Because you're going to hear a woman that ain't got no sense say this. 
happens. But women do do that. Absolutely. Yes. They, they, they the, take advantage of, of the situation. But I think when you look at a bill of a mother who's charging things, uh, using so child support money, moms also deserve to to be, be able to take care of themselves and to be able to spend on themselves. Like, if a mom is going to the gym, she needs to get a workout in and she needs to feel good about herself. If a mom is going to go get a drink with child support money, she should get that drink. It's really now, let's explain this. Imagine if the roles were reversed. And, and I'll let y'all watch the rest of the clip. The, re the rest of the women were logical. Another woman came back. She was very logical. But this woman. Now, imagine if, like, like as a man, you have to pay child support. Now, just imagine if I said, well, I had to dip into that child support to get my hair cut. Because I need to be taken care of, too. So the money that was going to my son, I actually took a little bit for me because I needed to buy some shoes. I need to go get some drinks with my boys. I deserve. I work hard for this money. I deserve to take this money and buy something with it. Nobody on planet Earth thinks that makes any sense. Man, you don't have no right to that money. You're supposed to be supporting a child with that money. You don't take that money, get your hair cut, and, and go, go get you some whiskey. But 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 a woman can say that, and that makes total sense to her. That. The money comes in and she should be able to use money to go and, 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 and have a mimosa on the weekend and go to the gym and get her, get her eyelashes done. No, that's what you do with your money. That's what you do with your money. You don't do that with the child money and the father can't either. You don't go spend the child money, bro. You go, you get to get that to the kid. That, that should go to the kid's needs. And I honestly feel like this. If you are the parent and you can't take care of the kid without the support, because it's support, it's not to take care of the kid, then maybe you shouldn't have custody of the kid. Maybe the other parent should have custody. If the other parent can take care of the kid and you can't, and you need the money to survive, that's I don't think that's the way things should be. I think it should be the parent that gives the, the kid the best environment to flourish. Meaning that if the parent can provide a great education, a great home environment, safe, all those things, whatever parent, whichever parent can do that, whether it's the male or the, or the woman. And that parent should have primary custody because that's what's best for the kid. And then the other parent should help out in that responsibility because both of y'all get to see the kid. Both of y'all had a kid. Both of y'all need to take care of the kid. Both of y'all laid up in the bed. And that's what it should be about. And so the support that's given by the other parents should be supplemental. You know, and some people get in their mind that the daddy should take care of the kid with the other parent. That just because daddy making money or daddy is very successful, that daddy should be paying for everything. It's like, no, nah, man, it, it should only be supplemental. And if one parent is financially stable more so than the other parent, then maybe y'all should consider, or maybe you should live with a parent that's financially stable that don't even need child support. Boo, how about that? But anyway, <clears throat> I think that it would be good to have a child support card. I really do think they should have done this a long time ago. And I almost think that men should get reparations for, for all the money that has been wasted uh, with women blowing, they, blowing that child support money and buying them shoes and stuff. I, and, I, you know, I'm not going to go there. I can go there, but I'm not going to go there about stuff that I didn't see happen and stuff that I know about. It should be rational, but the government has made it to where women have weaponized child support against men, and it is it has been made a mockery. But I want to hear y'all thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.